Hey Libra, welcome to Libra Vibes. If you're a return of you, welcome back. So we're gonna get into this reading. See what's the vibe, see what spirit has for you guys at this time. This reading is gonna be um love in September, okay? September 2023. Shout out to you guys. I see you much love and light. This is still a general reading. If you would like to book a person in my emails in the description box, okay. This reading can resonate if you have Libra anywhere in your chart. All Libra placements. So let's see. Love for Libra in September 2023. What's the overall energy? Reconciliation. <laughs> Some of y'all... I don't know, but reconciliation is the overall energy. So some of you guys may be reconciling with someone in September, okay? This will also be um, an energy of manifesting like a soulmate, a divine counterpart as well. So that could be the vibe. So let's get into it and see what's going on. Libra so when I said about manifesting a divine counterpart soulmate energy it's like reconciling with this person on a soul level okay that's what the image is making me feel so let's see give me one for this reconciliation for Libra in love September 2023 what's the reconciliation we have thief okay so this could be someone who stole Oh, this person is going to steal your heart. Clarify, thief. A change. For some of you, this person could have possibly cheated at some point in time, was deceptive to you in the past. But let's see what the message is here. Tell me more about Libra, September 2023, in regards to love. Why is reconciliation the overall energy here for Libra in love? Six of Swords energy. So maybe you'll be in some type of communication here with someone. Also, in regards to love, I feel like it's like getting back to love as well. Because the Six of Swords is like moving away from rough waters, right? Rough times to something more calmer, more peaceful here. What's the message here for Libra in regards to love? Queen of Swords, big fucking Libra energy. Y'all definitely came out. What is the message in regards to love, September 2023? Four Swords. So I really feel like the Four Swords could represent healing, right? Getting rest. Um, also, in this particular deck, the image actually shows a masculine like laying and thinking. Who's thinking about Libra in September 23 in regards to love? The Hierophant and the Sun. So this could be a Leo energy, a Taurus energy. Um, someone that definitely wants a higher level of commitment here with you. What is the message here? The Star. So this is someone who thinks about healing things with you, okay? Um, this person, again, could have been deceptive to you at some point in time in the past. But it's like they're looking at you, like maybe wanting to change or may have changed. What is the message here? Right, having a passionate new beginning. Having happily ever after here with you, okay? So, this is what this person is thinking of. And for others of you, it, it could just simply be, like I said, you manifesting this person here. Four Wands energy as well. So, I do feel like the energy that's coming through really strong is definitely someone burdened here by reconciliation. Or, again, it's like... Maybe this is someone you were divinely guided to turn your back on. And now this person is thinking about healing. Okay. Let's see. 
why is the reconciliation here for love in September 2023 for Libra? Why is reconciliation here? Why is reconciliation? Patience. Okay, that is equivalent to temperance. Okay, temperance definitely represents harmony, peace, being balanced, but it also represents reconciliation in some cases. So maybe this is a Sagittarius energy. And then we have rest and rejuvenation in reverse. So maybe this was someone that wasn't able to like rest, or maybe you didn't get any rest. Maybe you're being divinely guided to like get some rest and get some healing before you actually have a passionate new beginning in love. And that could possibly be because you are moving into an energy of the Ten of Cups, right? Which I said happily ever after, which could definitely represent marriage here. But on the reconciliation, they're pointing out that it says someone from your past is returning to your life. So maybe it could simply be a past life connection, um, right? I've known you in a different lifetime. We have a soul make connection, soul contract. And for others, there is that energy of a thief. But when it first came out, I said to steal your heart. But let's get some clarity here. Spirit, can I have one for the thief? We have indecision, yeah. So it could definitely be someone that couldn't make a decision about you in the past and don't shoot the messenger, baby, but it looks like you guys are going to be healing. This person could be thinking about healing. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to happen, but this could just be the energy in September. Okay. So let's see. As far as new love is concerned for Libra in September 2023, what's the overall energy in regards to new love? Besides what I said about connecting with um, a past life connection here. What about new love for Libra? What's the overall energy? We have... Give me one for new love. I really do feel like that past energy is really strong. So maybe this person is going to attempt to communicate here with you. September is literally like a couple of days away. New love. What's the overall energy? Thank you. We have soulmate, right? So like I said, there's definitely an energy of a soulmate connection as well as a reconciliation here. So let's see. What, what do you want them to know? about this soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, right? I really do feel like, what do you want them to know about this soulmate? This new energy here. Knight of Acorns, so heavy Sagittarius energy. So Libra, you could possibly be getting into a situation with a Sagittarius. Um, someone that is gonna take some type of action. This is also someone that is very driven here very ambitious okay this could also be like the four swords could represent like manifestation in a sense as well so maybe you have been like healing resting manifesting pouring into your own cup but again the energy is definitely there about thinking of you and maybe again you being the brightest option here and wanting this passionate new beginning. Talk about a Knight of Acorns. King of Shells. That's like King of Cups. Okay, so this soulmate energy is definitely someone that's emotionally balanced. Someone that has integrity. Okay, someone that's coming to bring in harmony. So... Also, the King of Cups energy is not afraid to show his love. So I really do feel like this person is your soulmate, right? It's like they're cuddled, snuggled, okay? So maybe this is someone that's like not afraid of um, PDA. This is also someone, again, who's not afraid to let you know how they feel. Someone that's in love, someone that's proud of it, okay? Even that seahorse is kind of looking like he's sticking his chest out in a way. It's like... Being proud to be in a relationship with you, in love with you, okay? 
But again, it's giving heavy soulmate energy. Now they're showing a the magician. So I really do feel like you guys manifested this for yourself. Okay, this soulmate. So be on the lookout for your soulmate in September. What about this person from their past that's thinking of them? Thinking of healing things with them? What's going on with this past person here? Yeah, you looking real good. Nine of Pentacles energy. So you're looking very abundant, very sexy, very um, connected. This person wants to be connected to you. Five of Wands energy. So there could have definitely been other options, okay? Obstacles and challenges in regards to this person, but because they had other people involved, okay? But there's something about you and maybe even the way that you are healing from this situation with this person that has this person like wanting this passionate new beginning here with you, wanting to take you from a single person into a married person. So... September 2023 is looking a little eventful around your love life, Libra. So, this could be a Gemini as well. Or a Scorpio energy. You also have Pisces energy, Virgo energy, and all the fire signs. So... Why isn't this person... Yeah, it's like the person that wants to reconcile with you or this Sagittarius energy is definitely not getting any sleep at all. Why isn't this person getting any rest here? This masculine. Why isn't this person getting any rest? Expectation. So maybe this is someone who's kind of like up waiting on you okay it's like this person could also be watching you here there was definitely an end in here this person wants this new beginning 28 could be significant to you 19 16 8 24 and 9 So it's like this person has some expectations, but I really do feel like they watch you as well. Throat chakra. So definitely wanting to communicate. What would you like them to know about this past person coming in for reconciliation? Universe. <laughs> so um, it's possible that the universe is actually bringing this union back together here. Um, the, the universe could have definitely separated you guys in the past. So maybe they're bringing this person back. Why is the universe, what does the universe have to do with it? But not in that way, right? Because the universe, the divine has everything to do with everything. So, well, for the most part, right? Because we do have free will and we can make certain decisions that don't have anything to do with God or the universe. It's just doing things on your own. But let's see. What does the universe have to do with this reconciliation? Mental conflict. Okay, so this masculine is definitely having mental conflict here in regards to this separation with you. So I really do feel like this is the reason that they want to communicate. Or that they are going to communicate. They're correcting me in that way. So September 2023, look out for... Someone from your past returning to your life, okay? For some of you, this past person could also be a soulmate energy to you, but let's see what's going on with the new love. What? Wait, before I do that, let's see. What's going on with the mental conflict here from this person? It's like really conflicted about being in a relationship with you, okay? Okay. Transformation and base chakra, yeah. So you guys could have definitely had some type of transformation here. You got this could have also be someone who was like very egotistical, and maybe they're moving out of that energy. Maybe they transformed in that way. Okay. This could also be someone who's in mental conflict because of some transformation that they're going through in regards to their security, their foundation. Um, 
their home life, their work life. Tell me more about the King of Shadows energy here. Accelerated motion. Yeah, like I said, you're manifesting this person, okay? You could have definitely been, like, healing and a lot of healing. I feel like you guys did a lot of healing here. So, with the four swords and the star right next to each other, that's, like, extreme healing. And I feel like you guys are currently in that energy. So, therefore, it's causing um, this King of Shells or King of Cups to show up very rapidly here and again it's like look at the way it's like a shooting star type of energy as well on that card so i really do feel like like i said you guys manifested um a soulmate a past life connection if you're really into lifetimes here you could have had like eight lifetimes with this person already they're calling me to say sacred chakra and sacrifice so i really do feel like a lot of you guys maybe a part of your healing was actually like being celibate okay maybe you sacrificed you know got your sacred chakra balance also you could have been using your sacred chakra to just be creative and maybe you could have sacrificed in that way as well because the sacred chakra could represent like our sexual energy, but also creative energy as well. So take it as it resonates to you. So what about Libra looking single, sexy, and abundant in September, right? It's like whoever you were like emotionally withdrawn from, it's like they don't want that, okay? They, they're desiring more with you heavily in September. Okay, so don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> I feel like I should have an issue um, for both parties. I think I'm going to go and get it. But let's find out a little bit about this person's mental conflict. What is the mental conflict here? Right, it's about love. Ace of Cups energy, it's about love, okay? It's about you. Queen of Swords energy and the Ace of Cups. So it's about love. Why are they so conflicted about their feelings for Libra at this time? Or why are they so conflicted about love in September 2023? But I said at this time, and I really feel like this is what they're doing at this time. So let's just see. Because like I said, September is literally across the street. So let's see. Why are they having mental conflict at this time in regards to love with Libra? The Knight of Cups energy. So maybe this person was like, all right, how can I say? The Knight of Cups, maybe they feel like you're their true love. All right, so maybe this is the reason. And for some, it's possible with the universe being there. It's like, I broke you guys up. I'll put you guys back together. So this could possibly be your true love, all right? And maybe this is something that why did you separate them in the past? Why did you separate? The Father Wands energy. And that's what came out before. So it's basically because of other people, other options, obstacles and challenges, hidden competition on their part, maybe having multiple options. Also, for some, they could have slept on you in some type of way because I just keep hearing you snooze, you lose type of thing. But again, this person had others, okay? And it's like I'm now I'm taking off their mask with the Five of Swords energy because this is a true love if that's resonating, okay? So let's see. Tell me about this change from this thief. 
What is the change here? Right, it's like one in a rebirth here. Or it's like changing from being a fool. Because that Joker card would represent the fool card, okay? The other one is the world. But yeah, it's like they a change from being foolish here. Right? Put in... Right? Because I want to say all jokes aside. So, this could definitely be someone who was like playing games with you. Someone that was being foolish. They had all these other people involved. But... Maybe this person really found the joke was on them. Because this is a true love, all right? So, all right, let's see. Tell me more about this accelerated motion with this new love for September 2023. Spurs like what? I was about to give up and then it shot out. And guess what it is? The ten of hearts. So again, um, yeah, it's like there's gonna be love, a lot of love. There's gonna be marriage. This is your partner coming in, your forever partner, they're saying. So the ten of hearts is basically like the ten of cups. So yeah. And the ten of cups already came out, so be prepared. <laughs> get ready. Stay ready so you don't got to get ready. So let's see. What is their advice in regards to this past person here? What is their advice for this past? Surrender. I can't release my need to control. Yeah, so Spirit is asking for you guys to surrender because... Clearly, like I said, this is spirits doing, okay? He undid it, and he must go and put it back together <laughs> for September 2023. So, you don't even see this communication coming in from this person. This person could literally be, like, preparing to send you communication soon, but you don't see this, Libra. So, just surrender the need to control what about the new person? What is their advice in regards to this new, this soulmate? Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Yeah, so like I said, I really do feel like for the most part, you guys manifested this. And just continue to stay disciplined, especially with your healing. All right? You can accomplish anything that you set your mind to. So if your mind is focused on love, then yeah, you can manifest love for yourself. But... You know, you got to put the work in. But clearly, you guys are doing it here. So, congratulations on that. So, let's get some initials in regards to this um, reconciliation. The person from the past that's returning. Can I have initials for this past person here? H-E. That's another H. So, we'll move that out the way. I. R. G. Another R, B, Brie, He, Hi, yeah. <laughs> this person going to say hi. I'm telling you, they're going to communicate. Initials for this new person and soulmate that they're manifesting. The initials in this particular reading is for the person only, okay? Not you, not you, right? I usually say first, last, middle, initial, yours or theirs, but no, this is strictly to the person here. So first, last, middle, initial for the past person. Initials for this new person, this soulmate energy. R E F. L U N 
L again, Q, C, S, A, P, panel. For some of you, you may meet this person on some type of panel. Maybe you're a speaker on the panel and they, they will also be a speaker on the panel. Plane. So yeah, someone, you could meet this person on a plane or maybe you'll end up traveling with this person here. Sure. So I feel like, like I said, this person is going to be very sure. And then we, oh, I said, see, it just turned back over. So this person is definitely going to be really sure about you, sure about this connection. Pleasure, yeah. So this person is coming to bring you pleasure. All right, so again, we have P S U R E L A N. Q, C, and F. First, last, middle, and issues for this soulmate energy. Shout out to you guys. I see you much love and light, and I'll see you in the next one.